Today, we'll be discussing evolution of gametophyte in bryophytes. Land plants are divided into four major groups. The most basal group is the bryophytes, that is mosses, hornbirds, and liverworts. Plants of the second group, including ferns and horsetails, have a vasculature but lack seeds. Gymnosperms and angiosperms both produce seeds. And all these groups share features like production of embryos, the uh, photosynthetic chloroplast, cell walls, primarily composed of cellulose, and uh, reproductive phenomena named the alternation of generation. In this phenomena, the multicellular diploid uh, structure undergoes meiosis to produce haploid cells called spores, and these spores then divide by mitosis to form uh, the multicellular haploid structure that is gametophyte, which will in turn produce the male and female gametes. However, the sporophyte and gametophyte uh, development vary greatly among different groups. In bryophyte, gametophyte originates in very primitive stage. It is the spore that is the sporophytic condition metamorphosed in, uh, into gametophytic stage of bryophyte. For its evolution, there are two theories. One is uh, the upgrade or the progressive evolution theory, and uh, uh, the other is downgrade or the regressive evolution theory. First, we'll, uh, we'll discuss the progressive evolution theory. According to this theory, the primitive gametophyte was a simple dorsiventral prostrate thallus, both in external as well as in internal forms. Cavers and Campbell were the main uh, proponents of this theory. The evolution of gametophytes took place from liverwort to mosses in an ascending series of gradually increasing complexity with regard to the organization of internal tissues and uh, sex organs. According to Cavers, the incestor gametophyte resembles the present day Sephirocarpus and Marchensians, uh, has been considered as a blind line of evolution from the hypothetical uh, Spirorisia. According to Campbell, the present day Risiadia and uh, Medzeria resemble the simplest ancestral gametophyte. From the simple thallus, according to this theory, from the simple thallus, the evolution of a complex gametophyte took place in two different lines. In the first line, the gametophyte retained its external simple thallus form as found uh, in Marken shells. Uh, Marchensials and simultaneously there was a gradual increase in complexity uh, in cellular organization. And this has been evidenced by the nature of pores, air chambers, and the aggregation of sex organs in a definite receptacles, uh, for example, in Marchensia. The sexual receptacles show a wide range of organization. In Russia, the individual sex organs are scattered over the median portion of the thallus. In Marchensia, the sex organs are born on a complex stalked uh, receptacle called gametophore. An intermediate condition in between the Risia and Marchensia has also been observed where sex organs are aggregated into a cushion like uh, uh, receptacle. And these receptacles are born on the thallus dorsally or terminally. In the second line, the gametophyte retained their simple internal structure, means lack of air pores and uh, air chambers, but there was a gradual elaboration of the external part of the gametophyte, leading to the formation of uh, the appendicular organs. The thalloid forms were replaced by the leafy forms, and these leafy forms finally led to the establishment of the higher degree of internal differentiation uh, of the tissue in bryopsida region. And this has been observed in the members of the Jungermanials and Calobrials. The second theory is the downgrade or the regressive evolution theory. Redstein, Church, Evans, 
Goebel and Keshav are the most prominent proponents of the downgrade theory. According to this theory, the primitive gametophyte was an erect leafy shoot having radial symmetry, for example, in the members of Calibra yales and uh, true mosses. The dorsiventral thalliae of liverworts and hornworts got evolved in reverse direction, that is, regression of increasing simplicity. Kashyap in 1919 advocated the regressive evolution from the results of his uh, extensive studies of Indian mercantiles. And the principal points in the reduction series from the mercantia uh, he proposed, like number one, the reduction in the number of involucres. In mercantia, six or uh, sorry, sex organs are well protected by many involucres. A gradual reduction in the number of the involucres has been observed uh, in Goniusaplon, which has been uh, finally culminating in Chermphionia uh, with a single involucre. Second point is the loss of assimilatory filaments in the air chambers. In Marcantia, the thalli show complexity. Here in Marcantia, the thallus show complexity in having air pores and air chambers full of uh, assimilatory filaments. There is a gradual reduction in the assimilatory filaments in conium uh, saffron chambers. The assimilatory filaments ultimately disappear in the aquatic bryophytes. Next is simplification of pores. In complex forms like Marcantia, the pores are complex, means barrel shaped and uh, um, uh, present both on the thallus and the disc of the gametophores. In Coniocephalum, the disc bear only barrel shaped pores while thalliae bear only simple pores. And the last principal point is the gradual shifting of the stalks of uh, uh, anthidiophores and archegoniophores from the terminal to the dorsal position. Actually, this last principle uh, was proposed by Mehra. So, Mehra proposed a condensed theory to explain the course of evolution. According to this theory, after regressive uh, deviation of Markel shales, the line of progressive evolution terminate and the, the significant reduction in sporophyte took place as following number one reduction in chlorophyllous salts from capsule then disappearance of stomata and intracellular spaces then disappearing of thickening of all types of cells gradual elimination of ceta and capsule and simplification of uh, dehiscent mechanism. Thank you.